Well, it looks like the repair I did to my micro SD card slot the other week didn't hold. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what I did. Um, when I went to go back to use it one day, I went to put the card in and something inside, I haven't taken it apart yet, completely snapped and my card, other than going in that last like eighth of an inch or so, it went all the way in and actually felt like it went down like this. Um, as I was trying to pull it out, I could see that uh, the screen, uh, the display in the front of the control box, was starting to flicker a little bit. So it looked like something on the board was shorting out. I decided to fix that and I bought five uh, replacement uh, micro SD card slot pieces that will be soldered directly onto the main board. Now this is not something I would suggest just going out and doing. If you're comfortable with the soldering iron, cool. If you're not really confident with this, might want to take it to a repair shop or someone that can do this. Uh, there is damage uh, that is possible to the main board that's not reversible and finding a version 1.5 board is not as easy as it sounds. So my E12 has been on rest. I just got back from vacation and we are going to go ahead and take this apart and do a repair. So uh, this might be a little bit longer video but you get to see what uh, was required and I'm curious to see exactly what happened to that card slot. So let's dig in, let's have a look. Alright, so we have our board completely out now. And we're going to set this entire shell and everything uh, off to the side here. Make sure I got all the pieces out. And look at this. I already have another piece of the uh, old micro SD card slot here had broken off. So I'm going to set him off to the side. And let's have a look at what happened. So it looks like it actually came completely off and you can see here yeah so this had actually broken off at the solder joint down here and we're left with I'm just gonna flex this off because it's gonna come off anyway let's go ahead and it's really on there okay there we go. So we'll use that to re-solder to right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to desolder this entire thing, which requires taking off all of these back feet here and four points around the outside. And then we're going to drop on a new one and solder it in place. It's not these outside parts that are hard. It's going to be in here because of the size of the tip of the soldering iron. And I'll show you what I'm using in comparison for size here. It's not terrible. I've actually filed down the tip uh, of my soldering iron here a little bit so that I have a little bit finer point to work with. So let's go ahead and get this off and then we can uh, clean up the contacts a little bit and go put on a new one. So what I've done now is, hopefully this will focus a little bit better, sorry because of the light here. Um, I've taken all the excess solder off of these individual contacts, I've smoothed them out a little bit, and I've added uh, another set of blobs here on the front too, and I've cleaned up the back two a little bit as well. I didn't add any more solder, I added only to this back left and I added what apparently wasn't even there on this front here and this front on this side. So now all we have to do is take our little replacement here. We are going to put him where he goes on here. We're gonna make sure the feet line up and everything. And then we're gonna go through the back here and we're going to solder them on. So what I wanna do first 
is I'd like to get these get this lined up. Um, you can kind of see here, let me show you with a pick. There is a white outline right here, which tells you where it goes. Now the back is what's gonna be important because this has to sit inside the box. So line the back up with this and the feet should all sit right where they go. Um, they are extremely small feet, so you do need a uh, soldering iron with a fairly sharp tip on it. So what I wanna do is I wanna get, like I said, I wanna get these front two down and that way I can put pressure on the on the back in order to get the feet and everything down. So I need to line this up and this is gonna be relatively interesting because I'm uh, right-handed, not left-handed. So I don't wanna work against myself here. So let's, uh, oh, make sure I'm still in frame here. So I'm gonna go ahead and there, oh, I should probably point out that on the bottom of the new piece, it has, you can see here, two, let's get in focus. There are two little feet. They go in these two holes right here. So that will help you line that side up. So what we're gonna do, oops, so we're gonna get this on here the correct direction. And line this up as close as I can get it. I was hoping I could feel the feet kind of go in place. But, uh, oh, there they are. Okay, so the feet just snapped in. Now, of course, obviously don't burn yourself. You're really close here, but I'm going to take one There's one, let it cool for a second. Ah, I almost had it. Okay, so let's do, let's do one in this corner. Okay, let's do the one over there. All right, now this is a little bit easier is first check to make sure all of the feet are lined up and they're sitting on the paths that they go on. Because if not, this is gonna be a bit of a problem for you. And you can look down this way and you'll notice I am flush against the board, which means those little feet are sitting in where they go. So that's good. With no new solder, I'm gonna go ahead and solder these uh, back big connections here. Because that's close, I do not want to press on that with my finger. So we're gonna do it this way. Trying to do this under the camera is a little more difficult than it looks. Okay, there's that one, let it cool. And this corner right here. Sorry, I'm out of the out of frame here. And Cool for a second. Okay. So I'm going to test the front, make sure it held. Actually, that held really well. Cool. All right. So the only thing left to do now is solder the back pins here. And this is nowhere near as easy as it sounds, especially when I'm trying to do this on camera uh, so that you guys can see this. Uh, try and get the light right. So this is this is a bit of a challenge. All right, let's go ahead and do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can't see that one, so I think that one's on and eight. I'm gonna redo this back foot right here. There we go, make that a little smoother. All right, so other than to really just manually look at them and make sure that none of them are crossing, and it looks like they're all good. So I'm just gonna go over the, the four outer feet one more time so I wanna make sure this actually stays on the board. So I've done, whoops, sorry. 
So I've done this corner. Let's go over to this corner here real quick. Okay. Let's do this front. All right. And this last foot here. And there we go. So let that cool off for a second. I'll unplug my soldering iron here. And now we can look at this. We can go this way. Come on. A little focus here. There we go. Okay. It's on pretty good. And the last test is to take your card right here. We're going to put it in. And we're going to test it and make sure it goes all the way in and works. Works perfectly. So there we go. We've replaced the socket. Now we're going to put this all back into the printer, hook everything back up, start up the printer, put a card in, and make sure that it works so that we know all of our pins on the back here are fully functional. So that next step we are going to do right now. Sorry for the shaky hand here, but I do want to point out that if you did this right, you'll notice that the card slot lines up exactly where it should be. This is done right. Now, if it's off center or you can't get the card in through the slot, you didn't do it right. Go back, adjust it, make sure those little tabs that I was showing you actually fit in the holes and test fit it if need be before you put everything back together. I didn't. I was pretty confident. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so this is what it should look like. Now we're gonna go ahead and give it a test. All right, so with everything put back together, we are powered on, uh, well not powered on, but we're plugged in and nothing's popped or blown, so we know so far we're good. Let's go ahead and turn the power supply on. All right. So far everything sounds good. Might have a little bit of uh, issue with some cabling rubbing on a fan, but I'll take care of that here in a second. Uh, so we're going to take our micro SD card. We're going to put it in. First, we're going to check. We're going to make sure it says no SD card and we're going to hit this. So we initialize and of course nothing. We're going to click it in, hit initialize and check it out. Print from SD. There we are. We are in. Now if I, obviously I pop the card out, which I'll show you here. I think I can get this far enough. Now it's simple as pop it out like you should be able to do. And we should go in here and say print from SD. Nothing. We're going to go ahead and put the card back in, like that. Come back over here. Whoops, I timed out. 
Print from SD. And there we are. That's all there is to it, guys. So, hope this helps some of you guys. Uh, all is not lost if your SD card slot is broken. Feel free to uh, check out the links in the description. I will put the link to where I bought uh, the rest of these little guys. I do have uh, the camera to stop shaking. I have four more of these just in case. They came as a pack of five off eBay. Um, I probably won't need them, but in case anyone wants uh, to have theirs replaced, you can get a hold of me if you don't feel like doing it. Um, private message me uh, through YouTube for right now. Uh, don't post public. I don't want to put people's addresses out there. But uh, yeah, if you need something done, go ahead and let me know. I do have uh, four more of these spare. My A8 still works just fine. It was just my E12 that messed up. So, hope that helps any of you guys. Uh, go ahead and let me know what you think. Like, share, and subscribe, guys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.